Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. PM Modi wraps up Australia tour, Sydney Harbour and Opera House Sparkle in Tricolour. US lawmakers view Afghanistan descent cable dispute continues. And ex-British Gurkha hopes Everest climb will change disability perceptions. And now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi held talks with his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese on Wednesday in Sydney and discussed regional security and economic ties and signed a migration deal to boost Indian student and business travel to Australia. Both leaders also reaffirmed their commitment to further broadening the multifaceted India-Australia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership, a statement said. Addressing the media, PM Modi said the ties between the two countries are linked to regional stability and global welfare. PM Modi said he also discussed the repeated attacks on Hindu temples and was assured of strict action against the culprits by the Australian government. Australia में मंदिरों पर होने वाले हमलों और अलगाववादी तत्वों की गतिविधियों के संबंध में हमने पहले भी बात की थी और आज भी हमने बात की है भारत और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के सौहार्दपूर्ण रिश्तों को कोई भी तत्व अपने विचारों या अपने एक्शन से आघात पहुंचाए ये हमें स्वीकार्य नहीं है Later in the day, both the leaders posed for pictures as the Sydney Harbour and the Opera House lit up in the colours of India's tricolour national flag in the background. PM Modi's visit to Australia was the final leg of his three-nation tour. Pakistan's ex-PM Imran Khan has termed the exodus of his PTI party leaders as post-divorce after senior Vice President Shireen Mazari also jumped ship following the May 9 riots. Khan on Twitter said that we had all heard about forced marriages in Pakistan, but for PTI, a new phenomena has emerged, that is forced divorces. He also said that human rights organizations have disapproved from the country. Reports suggest 24 PTI leaders have now publicly parted ways with the party following a crackdown on supporters after the May 9 violence over Imran Khan's arrest in a graft case. The Lahore police has also reportedly made a list of over 700 PTI leaders to impose a restriction on their foreign travel over their alleged involvement. Residents of Pakistan's financial capital Karachi are upset over several hours of electricity and gas load shedding that has made their lives miserable. During peak hours, almost every locality witnesses power cuts and over that hefty bills add to their woes. A leader of Jamaat Islami Party said overbilling is part of system of looting by corrupt officials. He also blamed the government for its inability to handle the increasing trash and sewage issues in the country's largest city, adding that people have no say due to lack of political representation. The city of Karachi is in the midst of the problem. There is no water, 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 no water. تو یہ تو حکمرانوں کی جو پوری کارکردگی ہے اس کا عقص ہے اس کی تصویر ہے اس کا زندہ ثبوت ہے چیتا جاگتا ثبوت ہے اور یہ بلنگ کا مسئلہ بھی لوٹ خسوٹ کا ایک ذریعہ بن گیا ہے کہ غلط بلنگ اوور بلنگ کے ذریعے لوگوں کی جیبوں پر ڈاکہ ڈالا جاتا ہے پھر وہ لوگوں میں تقسیم ہوتا ہے The leaders of the US House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael McCall and Gregory Meeks on Tuesday privately viewed a classified cable related to the 2021 US withdrawal from Afghanistan as the panel's Republican chairperson and State Department grapple over providing access to the document. McCall said he would now discuss the next course of action with the committee members if the State Department does not agree to let all 51 members view the cable as requested. He had earlier threatened Secretary of State Antony Blinken with contempt of Congress for withholding the document. 
Republicans and some Democrats say there has never been a full accounting of the chaotic operation in which 13 U.S. service members were killed at Kabul's airport. Hari Budhmagar, the first above the knee double amputee to scale Mount Everest, said his ascent would raise awareness about disability as he arrived back to a hero's welcome in Nepal's capital Kathmandu on Tuesday. 43-year-old Muggle climbed the 29,032-foot Everest on artificial legs on May 19. The Nepal's Department of Tourism confirmed that Muggle had climbed the mountain with five Sherpa guides and that his ascent is a world record. A former soldier, Maga joined the British Army in 1999 and had lost both his legs after stepping on an ID during a patrol duty in Afghanistan in 2010. He said he has suffered a lot because of his disability and did not want other people to face the same pains. Sri Lanka's Navy commander, Vice Admiral, Priyan Thapreira on Wednesday visited the National War Memorial in New Delhi to pay homage to India's slain soldiers. Pereira was later accorded a ceremonial guard of honour by the Indian Tri Forces at the South Block in New Delhi. He then met India's Chief of Defence Staff General Anil Chauhan and discussed ways to enhance defence cooperation by identifying new avenues and regional maritime situation. India recently extended a $1 billion credit line for Sri Lanka by one year, giving the crisis-hit country a backup fund to pay for essential imports. The credit line, part of about $4 billion US dollar in emergency assistance, extended by India during the peak of Sri Lanka's financial crisis early last year. A vibrant display of local Kashmiri handicrafts during the Craft Bazaar in Srinagar city grabbed the attention of the G20 delegates who were in the city for the Tourism Working Group meeting. Take a look. A unique craft bazaar with stalls showcasing handloom and handicrafts of India's Jammu and Kashmir attracted the delegates who were in Srinagar city for the G20 Tourism Working Group meeting. The visiting officials showed keen interest as the artisans gave live demonstrations of different crafts like wood carving, willow wicker and shawl work. The artisans said they are hopeful the gathering will further help promote their crafts internationally. उन्होंने हमारा कश्मीर का आर्ट दिखा एक हैंडमेड ऑनली हैंडमेड वो दिखाया लाइव भी दिखाया हाथ से कैसा बनता है ये बहुत मुतासिर हुए हमारे आर्ट को देखकर और जो ये हमारा आर्ट है अब ये अदर कंट्रीज में सेल हो जाएगा ये मिला कि हमारा जो स्किल सेट है बड़ा रिच है और इस स्किल सेट को हमने यहां पे जो है बेस्ट ऑफ द क्राफ्ट्स में डिस्प्ले किए और उस वजह से जो कल डेलीगेट्स यहां आए एंगेजमेंट फैक्टर वाज वेरी हाई द यूनिक बाजार वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हैंडीक्राफ्ट एंड हैंडलूम्स विद द थीम क्रिएटिव स्किल्स द 3 डे जी20 मीटिंग एम्ड टू प्रमोट टूरिज्म एंड रिच कल्चरल हेरिटेज ऑफ कश्मीर एट द ग्लोबल लेवल दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.